Yesterday, we explored different ways to make the numbers six and seven, different combinations we could use to make six and seven. And today, we are going to explore how to take apart six and seven um, with different combinations. Um, if you look at page 276, you'll need 276, 277, and 278 so that we can work through this together. And then I will have you do 279 and 280 on your own. So we are on page 276. They've done the first couple of examples for you. And all you need to do is trace it. But let's go ahead and talk through it. Now remember, we're going to be making two circles or drawing two circles or two rings around the objects. And every time we do that, you have to make sure you're including every single object in one of those circles. All right, so you can't leave any out. So the first one they did, we're going to go ahead and just trace the best we can here. How many are in that first ring? Well, three, right? We drew a ring around three. Oh, that's a terrible three. Um, and then they did the same thing over here and they drew a ring around three more. So we know we can take apart six by making a group of three and another group of three. All right, now let's take a look at how they've taken apart seven. All right, so taking apart seven, they've done some presents here and they drew a ring around five presents. And so that's what the number that we're going to trace down here is the number five. And then making sure that they've included all seven presents in a ring, the second one will have two presents in them and we'll trace the number two. All right, so if we wanted to take the number seven, we could break it down into a set of five and a set of two, because five and two go together to make seven. All right, let's make seven a different way. They're asking us to do that down here. So let's go ahead and circle three. These are cameras. We don't see cameras very often. We just take pictures with our phone usually. So we've got three cameras. So we're gonna write the number three. And over here, we've gotta make sure we include every single one of these in our second one. And inside that second ring, we have one, two, three, four, four cameras. So we'll write that number four. Because if we wanted to take apart the number seven, we could make a set of three and a set of four. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page to page 277. It looks like we're getting ready to play some, uh, maybe some football here or some baseball. We've got different sports equipment. So, I'm going to grab my pen and let's look at the megaphones. Now, if you've ever been to a football game or a basketball game, you may have seen cheerleaders using a megaphone to make their voices louder. They talk into the megaphone. We go ahead and circle two megaphones for our first group and write the number two. And we've got to include all the ones that are left in that second circle. There we go. And we have one, two, three, four in that second circle. So if we were going to take apart the number six, we could have a group of two and a group of four. All right, let's explore a different way to take apart six. Let's do, this set is only going to have one in it, just one. And that means we have to circle all the other whistles because every single one has to be included in one of our circles, okay? So now in this circle, we have one, two, three, four, five whistles. So go ahead and write that number five there. My goodness, my writing is not the best today. All right, so if you wanted to break down six or take apart six, you could make a group of one and a group of five. All right, let's explore how we could make seven, how we could take seven apart. All right, so the first group, let's go ahead and circle four of those helmets, all right? Four helmets. And 
we have to make our second circle so that it um, includes all the rest of them. So we have to make sure we include all the other ones. And now we have one, two, three. We've got three in that second group. So if we were taking apart seven, one way we could do that is to make a group of four and to make a group of three. Go ahead and turn your page to page 278. 278. All right, we are going to count how many, let me grab my pen here, count how many blue tiles we see in this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six blue tiles, six blue tiles. And it's asking us to make one group that has two in it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle these two to make my group of two. So how many will be in my second group? I have to include all of them, remember. So when I draw that ring around it, I have to include all the rest of them. So how many are in that second group? One, two, three, four. There are four in that second group. All right, so if we wanted to break apart six, we could have a group of two and we could have a group of four. All right, now for the next one, we have to count these red tiles, these red squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's kind of nice. They're arranged like they would be if they were inside of a 10 frame. So we have seven red tiles, and again, they're asking us to put two tiles in the first group. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle these two here that are on the bottom row, and I'll trace my number two. And then remember, when we make that second ring, we have to include all the ones that are left. So we will include that whole top row. And how many are in that top row? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you'll make five. Remember, a top row of a 10 frame, if it's all filled up, has five. So if we wanted to break apart seven, one way we could do that is to make a set of two and to make a set of five. Now you will be doing, if I can get the pitch to turn, no, well, maybe not. You will be doing pages um, 279 and 280 by yourself in a